Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to see if we can actually slipstream Windows 11. And before we continue, this isn't going to be one of my full slipstreaming tutorials. It's going to be a quick overview just to see if it actually works. And if obviously it works, then I shall perform one of my multi-part tutorials, breaking it down into small snippets to make it easier for you to understand. But with that in mind, let's get started. So the first thing we'll obviously have to do is have to have a copy of Windows 11. Now, if you've seen my previous tutorial, it's possible to download legally a version of Windows 11 from Microsoft's website using the Media Creation Toolkit for Windows 11. I'm presuming at this point you've already done that. Again, we'll be using NT Lite, which you'll have seen me use in previous tutorials in order to try and attempt this. So I'm just going to double click on this and open NT Lite, and I'm going to say yes to user account control when it kicks in. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to click on image directory and I already have my Windows 11 extracted to my D drive so I'm going to select that and as you see it's Windows 11 Pro I'm just going to double click on that to start the import okay it's given me an error saying that KB already exists I'm not quite sure about that so I'm just going to go OK and it's given me some errors regarding drivers but OK fine with that so it looks like that's imported correctly so we can go down to updates we can go to add and latest online updates select updates we want and click in queue We can go to drivers and we can go to add driver files or rather cancel that go to add drivers directory add and i have my drivers in a folder called drivers these have previously been backed up they're not the latest versions they're windows 10 drivers but okay it looks like they all already exist but again that process seemed to work correctly i'll drop down to unattend Nothing need to change in there. Go into apply. Okay, as always. Save the image and trim additions. I usually select. Remove non essential additions. Image format is going to be a WIM. That makes it editable later on. And I'm going to create an ISO. So, again, a very quick overview, but let's see if this works. So, I'm just going to go up to the corner and click process. Obviously it whines about user current control and defender being turned on, so I'll just close that. That's it, installing the latest updates. There's a complaint because I'm not using the licensed version. And I'll just let that process. Okay. That's basically another automated message that they've put in just to pause us so that we can't speed this up easily and to try and force us to buy the full license version of software. So I'm just going to click OK. Okay, so that actually looks like it was successful. So I should now have a Windows 11 slip ISO on my D drive. Let me just check that. And there you go, Windows 11 slip ISO. So it appears NT Lite can be used to slipstream Windows 11. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.